Do you think that like, making Japanese friends in Japan is difficult? Mm. Even if you speak Japanese, I don't know. Because the Japanese, the don't. Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> because it's, it I told is, you that. Hello guys, how are you doing? Yeah, I've been lazy recently and then I thought oh, I have to film something and then do you guys remember that region's life uh, Amitu? He asked me to do collaborate today and I was like, oh that's a good opportunity to do like you know my filming so so I'm going to his office right now. So he asked the boss, is that okay to film the like, <laughs> and it's gonna come and he, she's gonna film inside and he was like okay so huh, that's a cool because like, many Japanese people uh, know a lot of YouTubers to film inside. You know normally Japanese company is very very strict. Uh, filming inside, but uh, he's working at a uh, not Japanese company, I guess. That's why uh, his boss allowed me to get in and then, you know, film inside. So this is just a permanent. Really? Very suspicious. I don't want to live here. Maybe ghost to exist. Very scary. Oh my god, so cool. So I arrived. At Amito's company. Hi, Amito san. Hi, Hi Region Life. How welcome, are you? Welcome, welcome. So, when did you start like, working today? Yesterday. Ah, uh, yesterday? <laughs> eh? So, today? Today is my second day. Ah, okay, okay. You're coming from Osaka, right? Yeah. Oh, so his boss. The... Oh, <laughs> nice to meet you. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> I'm good. Ah, my name is Oh. You speak Hindi. Hindi will they have. <laughs> <laughs> so he served uh, this biryani today. <laughs> so uh, and this is you know the name? I, I forgot this. Raita. Right. Raita. Ah, yes. When I went Raita. to Indian restaurant before, mm. I had biryani with Raita, and that was my first time, and it was really really good. And this is uh, mm -hmm. kathi kebab, kathi roll. Yeah, <laughs> kathi. Kati, ah, oh, I'm proud of it, but I haven't tried this. So, how long have you been living in Japan? Japan, uh, I came first time in 77, 1977. Oh, long time ago. <laughs> long time ago, <laughs> yes. But his Japanese is very, very good. So, eh, <laughs> how did you learn Japanese? I learned by chance. By I, chance? Yes, oh. I never, I was not Aware of Japan, I never wanted to learn Japanese. Japan, I never wanted to learn Japanese. But I wanted to learn one foreign language when I was in Delhi, in India. Yeah, Delhi is a very famous city. Yeah. It's yeah. capital of India. So I was a student. Mm -hmm. I wanted to learn French language. Mm -hmm. French. But no seat available. I was a student, so I just mm -hmm. got admission in <laughs> Japanese yeah. school. <laughs> Yes. When you are little, you have to learn like uh, any language, like uh, French and like uh, Japanese or something. Like uh, you have to. Like no, no, it was my hobby. Uh -huh. Actually, I learned Russian language uh -huh. and I also learned German on my own. Uh -huh. And after that, I wanted to learn French. Uh, that's yes. cool, because like uh, in Japan, like uh, many Indians speak Japanese fluently. Like they are really freaking good. Like <laughs> yeah, because. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Many things are very similar in Japanese language, especially mm -hmm. our grammar is similar to Japanese. Oh, really? Yes, it is similar. So that's why, oh. uh, well, it is easy for Indians to pick up any foreign language because we have so many languages. Oh, that's interesting. Then. Yes. Yeah. You see, we have mm -hmm. 1,625 languages in India. Uh, how many languages like, do you speak in Hindi? In India, everybody mm -hmm. speaks at least three languages. At least three languages. At least, mm -hmm. because they have to speak. Mm -hmm. They have to survive in India. Yeah. So they always speak their language, mm -hmm. then uh, neighbor uh, state language, like mm -hmm. that. I mm -hmm. speak five. <laughs> That's really cool. Mm -hmm. So it is our requirement. To live in India, you have to learn other mm -hmm. languages. 
so that's why it is called that indians mm -hmm. are very mm -hmm. good in learning foreign language uh, so you study japanese before you come to japan right Yes. <laughs> so you don't recommend like uh, people who come to Japan like uh, without study Japanese? It is uh, two yeah. ways. Uh, first, I think you should start in your own country. Mm -hmm. Some basic language you should have, mm -hmm. maybe two, three months only. But even then, after that, because that time there was no chance to come to Japan and learn. Mm -hmm. That was very difficult when, when I was a student. Mm -hmm. But now there are very good chances. Mm -hmm. So it is good to learn at least uh, means uh, daily language but mm -hmm. that if you come to Japan then you can survive mm -hmm. so um, learn little and then apply for uh, some uh, uh, admission in a university or somewhere in any Japanese school mm -hmm. you have more chances to come mm -hmm. you didn't go to Japanese school uh, no I get uh, I mm -hmm. studied in Japanese school but in India uh, it was yes uh, <laughs> that was uh, I told you by chance, and they told me if mm -hmm. I if I study hard, mm -hmm. and if I top mm -hmm. in India, mm -hmm. then I'll get a free trip to Japan. Mm -hmm. So I tried my best, and I got mm -hmm. first <laughs> in seventy six. In seventy six, uh, so you got a job in Japan? No, I was top uh, in top Japanese language test uh -huh. in India. Uh, so that's why you came here. As yes, free? I got invitation from Japan <laughs> <laughs> and then I came. So my my case is a little different. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's very, very different. <laughs> and then he told me that he has her own book. He made this book and this is him actually. Yeah. That's really cool. I didn't know he was a very, very famous person before I come here. No, no, not that famous, but yes, I like uh, ah, okay, Japan okay. very much. Oh, I made a mistake, the person who interviewed. <laughs> <laughs> no, just joking. <laughs> just joking. Oh, that's cool. So, Amito-san, how are you doing? <laughs> Kyo -ni. Kyo -ni. Oh, so, you're tired. You worked all day long. Yeah. Little bit, yeah. A little bit. Yes. Um, you eat food. You taste. Yeah. I'll, I'll click you. Mm, I'm gonna eat. Oh, okay. He haven't had anything. Yeah. Since yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> morning. Since morning. Eh, that is that the uh, Indian like a uh, culture? No, no, no. Uh, We're lazy. We work. Ah. Uh, eh, no just busy. No breakfast. No lunch. Eh, many Indians are very, very hard worker. Yeah. Do you think like uh, making Japanese friends in Japan is difficult? Very difficult. Mm -hmm. Even if you speak Japanese like fluently? Yes. No, it mm -hmm. is very difficult mm -hmm. to make uh, because the Japanese they don't talk to a new fresh person. True, true, true. If there is a chance of meeting at some place or uh, then it is very easy. Mm -hmm. But those chances are not there for young people, those who are coming. Yes. I want to make us uh, such place mm. where they can call you, they mm. exchange of views, and yeah, then yeah. if you get a chance, then mm. it is easy. Mm -hmm. But here you don't get a chance. You cannot meet in the train. You cannot talk to them. Mm -hmm. As soon as you talk, they'll go away. <laughs> mm, that's true. Like it's not only in Japan. Like when I was in Canada, also they try to not make new friends because they already have friends, right, and local friends. And we we also yeah to have like a local friends don't need to you know, like maybe new friends here um, mm. and then also especially Japanese people are very shy they, they very shy just stranger mm -hmm. and Indian people are very open so mm. totally opposite totally <laughs> opposite <laughs> totally opposite yeah mm. we make friends very easy mm. yeah. Like after you like uh, get along with Japanese, it's gonna be easy. Or yes, mm. once you are a friend, they're very open, and very nice, and uh, just, very friendly. Just first step is first step like, is very high, <laughs> right? <laughs> Do you tr trust like a Japanese friend easily or like? Mm. It is uh, 
well, you know, in Japan mm. it is tatemai. Yeah, <laughs> true, true, true. Yeah. They will say yes, yes, yes. I will mm. come and uh, but uh, we know that it is very difficult for a Japanese mm. to give time mm. to take time because they are work holic. Their first preference is their work. Mm. So uh, sometime it is difficult for them. Mm -hmm. So we have to see. We have to judge. Then we should not put them into trouble. They will not say straight no. Mm. They cannot say no. They cannot say yes. True. It is always grey. <laughs> yes, true. <laughs> you have no tatemai culture. Not that much. We mostly mm. say straight that no, I am busy. I cannot come or something. Mm. Uh, so uh, it is not that as in uh, Japan. Mm. But of course, we have to see mm -hmm. that the person whom we are talking, mm -hmm. we should not hurt him also. So that is everywhere same. Yes. Uh, what is uh, like a big different culture from you know, like India? India and Japan? Mm, India and Japan, you know, India and Japan. Uh, like a uh, Japanese are very shy and what else? A Japanese uh, big culture is actually they do not want to hurt the feelings of other, uh -huh. and uh, in that case they may say a little bit differently. Uh, they will not give you a straight answer and it is always not very clear that uh, 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 oh please come to my house you will just say uh, uh, mm. casually mm. and if i don't know because in india if you said please come to my house they will come but mm. japanese they just say casually oh. i want to meet you again or they will wait for to meet again uh, yeah, true, but, uh, in india if you say that i want to meet you they will make a program and meet you mm. so is not a casual talk, mm. but in Japan they can do it casually. Oh, that was not I was meaning or something. Mm. <laughs> so this is very difficult to judge. Mm -hmm. And uh, you speak a little Japanese, and they will say, "Oh, the yeah. What do you think? <laughs> because yes, I told is, you that it is a good praising word. Uh -huh. But sometimes they take it wrongly. Oh, I speak very good Japanese. Uh. <laughs> but if you are real friend. Mm -hmm. They become after real friend, mm -hmm. then they start telling you, no Marcus, you are doing this mistake. Then you understand that they are real friend, mm -hmm. not before that. Mm -hmm. If they tell you that this is a mistake Marcus, you are saying it wrong, then you know that he is my real friend and he wants to teach me the correct way. Otherwise he will just say, oh you speak very good Japanese. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, yes. that's true. So if uh, your friend starts telling you mm -hmm. that this is the correct way of saying it, mm -hmm. this is the mistake you are doing. Then you treat him as your real friend and correct friend. <laughs> mm, what he said is like everything is true. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, they are not going to tell you. They are uh, not going to uh, correct you because you will feel hurt. Um, so, yeah, 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 yeah. See, tell about it. Sumo. Uh, sexy sumo. Uh, this is no no to connect India and Japan. Ah, to connect so, yeah. India and Japan. Even if you Google sir name, mm -hmm. so they have written like he's mm -hmm. a bridge between India and Japan. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Emerson, this is Konnichiwa Japan. Konnichiwa Japan. <laughs> Konnichiwa Japan. Eh, this is to introduce mm -hmm. Japanese culture to Indian people, mm -hmm. those who cannot come to Japan, but they ah. want to see. Uh huh. So. Here I, I take uh, sumo. I invite it. Do, to... do you know Mayo in Japan? Yes, she's my friend. She's my friend. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> Big YouTuber. Yeah. She she also was there. I wanna go. Yeah. There are so many people. Those who are doing. She speaks good Hindi. And uh, yes, uh, we met many times. I'm sorry that I totally forgot to film like ending, like thank you for watching, something like that with him. So now I'm in the house. So yes, what he said was totally correct. You know, like uh, we Japan people uh, normally don't say anything straight. You know. Like kind of beat around the bush, like eh? for example, you know, like uh, uh, like I feel cold. Even if I feel cold here, and uh, I don't say that I'm cold. So we don't say like that. Like uh, we just ask everybody, oh, do you feel 
you cold? And <laughs> if they say cold, ah, I told that too, and something like that. So, kind of reading air. Yeah. So, anyway, so yeah, this topic is very interesting. So, I'm gonna talk about it、like, in the future in the video. So, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice day, and see you later. Bye. She said, I love you.